Grace and peace from our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm in my home office, and behind me is a picture, actually a painting. It was done by Gary Dodd, who took a picture that we had taken of Joshua, my son, a couple of days before he died in 2001. Gary took that picture and offered me a gift, a painting. And I hang it in my home office to remember Joshua, to love Joshua, and to remind me that life is hard and life is difficult, but it is also full of love. This is a difficult time for all of us. Isolation, anxiety, fatigue, sickness, and death fill our screens in our lives. Consequently, we have questions for God. Who are you? Why do you permit such horror? Where are you? What are you going to do about it? We all struggle with these questions. In our isolation and social distancing, we often struggle alone. We miss our faith community where we are able to ask these questions in a safe environment, I hope and wrestle with God together. This is why, with the generosity of my publisher, I'm offering free access to my recent publication, Anchors for the Soul, Trusting God in the Storms of Life. A group of 10 to 30 people can choose a leader who will register the group. The leader will receive access to 10 videos, and each participant in the group will receive a free ebook. Anyone who wants to purchase a hardback copy will have the option to do so at a significant discount. The group will meet at their own schedule on Zoom or Google Hangout or whatever platform is best for the group. And in the last meeting, I will join the group for a 30 to 40 minute discussion where we can have a conversation about God. The leader may register the group by clicking on the registration link the only requirement is that the leader pay a $25 registration fee in order to sustain this free offer. The offer will last for several months as we all observe the government stay at home guidelines. I hope you will consider this opportunity. I would love to share this material with you and spend some time with you talking about it. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all.